Hello, John here. And this is part four of tutorial 35. And in this tutorial, we are going to be setting up the game and figuring out what our game loop's going to be. So, let's see if we can uh, do that. So in our basic program we set up the game loop here on number 80 and then we started the loop which starts at 100 and goes all the way down to 220. So that's our game loop but what we can do we can be a bit more um, structured on this and reorganize it a little bit so what we need to do is we need to create these variables so we've got vertical velocity gravity thrust horizontal velocity horizontal velocity HI what do <laughs> what did we use for HI oh that's the that's the inertia into it horizontal inertia horizontal velocity horizontal inertia right so that we need to create some um, variables for that so we'll go back to our working store so Vertical veloc velocity. Um, what else do we want? Vertical velocity, gravity, gravity thrust. So this is gravity thrust. No, not thrust color. Just thrust. No, just thrust. Stop it. Uh, what else did we want? Horizontal velocity, horizontal inertia. So, hori, horizontal velocity and horizontal. Inertia. Okay. Any of this? So we've got the thrust sprite. So thrust sprite frame number. We don't need to do that because we can set that at the time, can't we? Yeah, okay. Um, what else? Vertical velocity, that's it, that's it, right? So we need to. See we need to JSR set up game variables. So we need to set up all the game variables. Set up game variables, RTS. So Vertical velocity equals zero. So all the things that are zero will set them. Vertical of velocity. What's CC? What did we use CC for?
Must have been the counter. So I don't see CC there anymore. Right, so vertical velocity and horizontal velocity set to zero. Okay, it's easily done. I'll DA zero. Store it in vertical velocity. Store it in horizontal velocity. Then load in a number. Gravity is 3 divided by 112. <laughs> oh, gobblers. Right. Three divided by one one two is naught in programming terms. Three divided by one one two is naught point two six seven eight five seven one four two eight five seven one four three. Hmm. How we're going to represent that in binary? Good question. I hear you ask. Yeah. Good question. Okay. Anyway, questions about to be answered. Welcome to the world of fractions. So, this is what we know as a fraction. So on this side in decimal it's either 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, blah 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 blah. And then this side of the decimal point it's 1 tenth, 1 one hundredth, 1 one thousandth, 1 ten, ten thousand. Blah, blah. Well you can apply the same theory to decimal and it's known as a decimal fraction. Uh, sorry, binary binary fraction. So binary goes this way, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, blah, 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 all the way up. But you can have a binary fraction. And it's exactly the same as how you do with decimal. It's just you go in the opposite direction and put a 1 over it. So the first bit is 1 half, second one is 1 quarter, third one is 1 eighth, fourth one is 1 sixteenth, and so on. And so we can do this inside of um, assembler, but so but instead of having just the normal two two bytes to make a word, we actually have three bytes to represent the number. Now, because of our thrust and our gravity doesn't go above 128, we can still represent it as two numbers and use the existing um, maths libraries that Derek has made. But if we ever went up, if we ever went above into the the 256 mark and above, we'd have to write some new libraries to handle that. But we can use the existing libraries for the binary fractions to work. So what we need to do then is in our li library we need to do add so vertical velocity is now going to be a binary fraction frac fraction so this byte is going to be uh, not to two five five
No. No, no, no. No. This is going to be... One... Two eighths. Hundred one one hundred and twenty eight two one half yeah and then this one is going to be zero two two five five God this is gonna be hard working it out <laughs> So we do the same with gravity, because gravity is going to have the same thing. Thrust, same thing again there. Vertical velocity, vertical velocity is going to be the same. Inertia is going to be the same. And X and Y is going to be the same as well. Problem is, with X, it goes into the three, doesn't it? E dear, it's going into three, so we will need to write another. We will need to write another function to do the three byte addition and subtraction. Hmm. But well, we won't worry too much about that. We won't worry too much about that. So. We do the two bytes here. Do the two bytes here. Do the two bytes here. And the reason why I say we won't worry about that too much for the X is that, well, we don't need two there, do we? Is that we'll get, when we want to utilize the whole screen, we'll have to use them but at the moment we'll do what we did in the basic program and just ignore the high bike for the moment and we'll just concentrate on the main so so we've got two bytes there so the binary got binary fraction don't need a binary fraction there binary fraction color doesn't need it gravity vertical velocity so they're all binary fractions so we need to work out the numbers in binary fraction. So let's fire up notepad, see if we can manually work it out. So, because we're going to be talking binary fractions, we're only going to do five. So, one divided by two. So, there's going to be lots of ones here. Uh, divided by four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. So we don't need that lot. Right. Let's split them out a bit. Oh dear. calculator getting late it's getting late right so one half one quarter one eighth one sixteenth will that fit one thirty two one sixty four and one two eight so we had right I've got we got rid of the calculator now haven't I? Calc. So we had three divided by one one two. 
which is point oh two. Okay. How do I work that out in a binary fracture? Well, it's smaller than a half. Okay, so what's... Let's put that in memory. Clear. So what's 1 16th? 0.06. So that's still too big, so we're into 16th. Uh, 1 divided by 32. 0.3. That's still too big. Uh, 1 divided by 64. Alright, okay. Plus 1 divided by 128. Well, that went completely wrong, didn't it? Right, okay, so 1 divided by 64. Plus one divided by two eight. That's still too big. Because that's two six. Maybe we need to go even further down with the fractions. So we're going to so <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to go down even further to the to the fractions. That's a bit of a, so we, we're going to have to cr create some um, libraries. So the, the fractions are going to be even uh, smaller. Right, so this one means it's going to be uh, 165535, 50th 65535. Two, one over two five six. So that's our binary fractions, it, and it's only just so we can get those uh, small values in there. So we're going to do three, 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 and three. Right, so we're going to, and we're into 18 minutes already, so I haven't even started the setup. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create these macros, and then we're going to finish off setting up and the game uh, loop this is going to take even longer all right then so I will see you in the next video if you like the video please press that like button if you didn't like it fine hit the dislike button always add a comment and if possible become a patron because everything helps right I'll see you in the next video take care bye I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.